Ooh. I kind of want to jump there, but if I do that and fall down, I'm going to be screwed. So let's take him out first. Oh, maybe I have to jump down. We worry of ambush left. Hmm, it's not a lot of room to work in there. Soul and a torch. I might try throwing stuff at them. If I can get them both at the same place. Hello? Oh god. Oh god. Whew. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I think I can take the rest. Ooh, they're getting close. Yes, keep getting closer. Let's just do this. Okay, I can take one. Mailbreaker. Ooh, a weapon. Infantry helm. That could be good. I don't think those hollow soldier armor things are any good. That thing looks like a mess. It's been like crossbow. Anyway, where is this thing? There it is. That thing's a piece of shit. Okay, it's incredibly light. Hold on. Yeah, wait. Uses very little stamina? Yeah, very little stamina. Hmm. Did I get any armor as well? I suppose I should look over my my options here. Anything actually better? Not really. Not really, and not really. Probably same with this. Red, red, red. Yep. Same with that. That's all crap. And that is also complete crap. Yeah, that seems like a freaking dagger. Alright, so it's a stabby stabby weapon. Is there any way to do super quick stabs like that one guy tried to do to me? Hiya! Yeah! Yeah, I'm not gonna be using this thing. No way! You know, I spend so much time dodging attacks. It's almost like I should use a one-handed weapon. Like, I'm not even really using my shield, so I think I need to either use my shield or use a one-handed weapon. I could just use my current sword one-handed. I think that uses more stamina, doesn't it? Did it use more stamina? I think it did. Alright, Mr. Turtle down there. Can now be attacked. Uh, how do I get out without killing myself? Shit. Shit, I didn't think that far ahead. How? I mean, I suppose I could drop down without dying, probably, but I'm certainly going to take damage. 
Is there no way down? Or back up? There's no ladder. Well, shit. Alright, here we go. This is not where I want to be. Okay, am I ready to take him on? I suppose so. Oh god, I think I'm too late. Go, 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 go! Yes, 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 one more, one more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, yeah. Yes. Ah, ah. And watch, that's probably not even going to be any sort of a mini-boss. It's probably just a standard enemy that I'm going to see 20 more of. I didn't even drop anything. you. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. I also should not have done that there! Fuck. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this shield. No. Life gem is what I meant to use. Switch. Switch swords. There you go. I did not switch to the right sword. Fucking directional pad. Oh my god. No. Fuck. Wait, how do, wait, did the entrance just disappear to this place? No, no, there it is. Okay, that's what I meant to do. Jesus Christ, I'm fumbling over the controls like crazy. Let's try double-handed, because I'm not really using my shield. That is not doing much of anything, because I'm hitting the shield. For some reason, I keep hitting the shield and nothing else. Jesus. Come on. Come on. I wonder how much more damage doing double-handed actually does. I really don't know whether I want to use the shield. The worry of enemy and then weakness back. Oh. Oh. That person looks fancy. Enemy head, but play dead.
at risk. It's our God, did I just fucking break it? <laughs> like, all my weapons are just ruined. Except for this little needly thing. Oh, this is not going well. Okay. Hand axe. Don't really want to use that. Mace? Suppose I could try a mace. Could try an axe. One ten is the damage. One thirty. Oh, I can't use it properly. Oh no, I equipped the wrong thing. Here we go. Oh god, that takes up so much stamina. How heavy is that thing? Six. Normal sword is more like two. Alright, that's not going to work too well. I need something lighter. Hand axes too. Seems pretty good. Let's go with that. Hmm. It feels slower, but maybe it's not. Well, that's strange. The strong attack on this is actually just about as fast as a normal attack. I'll give it a shot. It's probably going to get me killed, but whatever. I do kind of want to know what's inside of the mist, but it might be nothing but a boss. I just realized I'm running up a sword. Beautiful. Oh, whoa. It's a shield and a huge sword. This is so cool. Actually, that's not a fancy dude, is it? No, it's a normal dude. Oh, there's another one. That is... I was gonna say that's not a good start. It's also not a good end. Okay! Wonderful. I need to repair my weapons. How do I repair my weapons? Alright, hold on, I've got a hunch. Who's got the key? Is it you who has the key? I should maybe buy a weapon. Blacksmith Lenegrast's shop in Malusia. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to buy that. Lively times these are. <laughs> it doesn't repair my weapons. No, if they fully break, you need to take them somewhere to get repaired. <laughs> it does no damage, basically. It's the only decent weapon I have right now that I'm actually comfortable using. Ah, I did not mean to go there. So let's go get my souls back, and let's go. Um, I guess buy the key and try to repair my stuff.
just like to point out there, I was attempting to utilize my shield. I'm really fucking bad with the shield. I don't really get how to use it. I keep trying to do the parry thing. Where you do this. At just the right moment, and it never seems to work. It worked in the beginning, but I can never get it to fucking work now. Maybe I should just forget that. It doesn't seem worth it. Let's try it. Let's see how much this thing absorbs. Eh. Right, so I'm pretty sure all my other souls are gone, right? I think that's how that works. Do you have one life to go get him again? I believe. Strong attack with the sword is a nice stabbing motion. It's actually useful to know. Why won't you go away? Yeah, I'm definitely going to buy a key to the back blacksmith shop. Still trying to figure out the shield. Right, so it absorbs most of the damage, but not all of it. Eats up stamina when you take damage from it as well. You're useless, I'm just gonna ignore you. Alright, please tell me that big huge dude's not back. Oh, fuck me, he is. All the guys up there. Yep. Nice. I like that result. Pull too many. Patience is the key. Right. Alright, gonna get my souls back. Gonna farm some more souls, buy the key, and see what I can do at the workshop. Also drop down around there to see what's around the edges there. Ooh, nice dodgeback. Ow. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm regressing. I am literally regressing.
It's like three steps forward, two steps back, two steps forward, one step back. I don't know if I said that correctly, but yes. Went far, returned to the starting origin, didn't go as far, returned again, went even less. Obviously my souls are fucking gone. These guys just won't fuck off. Yeah, I'm not even using my shield. I'm really not. Let's change things up. Let's see what's down here. Other than more death, I have regressed even further. Well... I'm angrily taking a sip of water. Yeah, I, I really don't get how to use the shield. I'd rather just avoid taking damage in the first place. Well, since I'm right at the starting area, let's try this again. Gonna try to deflect. Huh? No, it didn't work. Huh? No, I did that way too late. Doesn't matter how many times I die, I'm right at the starting area. Whatever. I'm just gonna practice that. See if it's even possible with these guys. I'm pretty sure you can do it if you s you have that up and then you press it. Like, I don't think you have to have it not up and then press it. I'm pretty sure you can just leave your shield up and then press it. Still way too early. Keep doing it too early. Too late. Also, that didn't defend me at all for some reason. Okay, does my shield doesn't work against overhead attacks, I guess? That's reaffirming my thought that I should say fuck the shield. It doesn't seem worth it. What if I went with two weapons? Eh, I think I'd rather go with one weapon. Like, does the shield just not work against overhead attacks? Because it didn't deflect it whatsoever. Even though I had it up. Nope, didn't work. There we go, it is possible. Boom. Given how fucking hard that was, there's no way that's going to be a good tactic in general. It's going to get me killed nine times out of ten. Test it on this guy. Come on. Uh, 
right. Oh, Jesus, where'd you come from? Nope, too early. It's okay, I'm farming souls. I'm seriously doubting that, that parry, whatever, shield mechanic. Whatever it's called, I'm seriously doubting whether that's worth it. Because it's not like if you get the timing wrong, you lose nothing. No, if you get the timing right, it's great. If you get the timing wrong, you're pretty much dead. Because you just opened yourself up to attack. You're standing in front of an enemy who's slicing at you, and your shield is not even active. So, it's really, really temperamental. These guys finally fuck off? Well, one did. I want my souls back. Too early. Fell right on time there. Kaboom! Yeah, it just seems way too temperamental. And in trying to get this... this opening... I feel like I'm missing so many other opportunities to just lunge at them. It just doesn't seem fucking worth it. <laughs> oh, there he is. Alright, let's try it on this guy. Nope, too early. <laughs> Way too fucking early. <sighs> you gotta be really good at reading the enemies, and there's so many different enemies, and they all have different movement speeds in terms of their attack. They have super fast ones, they have super slow ones. I will ask this, anyone who's played this game, do you think it's worth it to attempt to... I don't know, master the parry mechanic thing. Is it worth it? Because to me, it really does not seem worth it remotely. It just seems like a terrible idea. Like, why do I even have my shield? I guess I'll attempt to use it again. Could wait for them to attack you and then, you know, move in. Seems fairly effective. I don't like the passive feeling, though. I'd rather be rolling away or attacking rather than just waiting for somebody to attack. go anywhere. Nowhere but down. Time to go down. So 
Somebody's shooting at me. I'm not sure from where. Oh, hi. This may be a terrible idea. Come on. I'm gonna have to take more damage by falling again. Oh shit. I need 13,000 souls so I can buy that stupid cat ring. May have bit off more than I can chew here. Stop shooting arrows at me. So many arrow shooters? Oh my god, I meant to go into that little cubby hole, not here. What's this say? Regret. <laughs> yes, I do. I do feel regret. Okay, am I safe here? Yes. Barely. That's instant death. There's a thingy over there. I like thingies. Try a ladder. Getting lots of shards. Oh, it's a turtle thing. Mm, right, where is this ladder? Wait. 
anything around here? No. Nah, that's what I meant to do. Hmm. I don't think I should be here. Alright, where's this ladder? Any of the other spots? How do we get up there? I have no idea where to go from here. Wait a minute, how do I even get out of here? Shit, I just realized I don't even have a way up. I was thinking of ways to go forwards, but I don't even know how to go back. Oh wait, yeah, 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 okay, there's just a pathway, never mind. That part's easy. What about the tree branches? Hmm. I don't think that'll take me anywhere special. Could potentially jump on that lump of rock, but I don't see what the... Ow. I don't see what the point of that would be. Um, oh, I guess I just jump over there. Damn it. Hooray for pointless. God, I didn't mean to fall in there. Fuck me. Jesus. Let's see if I can remember how to jump. Success. There's a ladder. Ooh, what's in here? Darkness. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Something just died from that, too. It's all Indiana Jones up in here. I don't suppose more come? Friend. Friend ahead. Are you friend? Try rear. I'm not sure if that's a genuine tip or some vague joke about anal sex. Navigating the continent to create a map. Why cartography, you ask? 
Well, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was... Um, uh, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Drangling, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dremlin. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. It's like everybody here is just lost souls. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. Yes. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. <gasps> A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. And that just taught me to continue talking to everyone because they might give you stuff. Not just because what they have to say is interesting. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. Mm hmm I would not venture deep into the mansion. Hmm. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. <laughs> okay. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Thanks for the heads up. I'll be back in Majula soon. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. I would love to. I feel like I should shove a homeward bone in here. Be wary of jumping off. <laughs> Be wary of jumping off and then treasure ahead. Uh, that message is just troll. There's no treasure down there, fuck you. That's where the gigantic ball fell down. And went clunk. I'm gonna go clunk too, except instead of making a clunk noise, I'm gonna make a splat noise. up on this little interwall thing. I don't think I can, though. Nope. Because I see stuff past it. Hmm. Right, and there's a closed gate. I have no idea how to open it. Maybe one day I'll figure it out. But not today. Wait. How do I get off here? Do I have to jump down? Ah.
All right, well, this way is pretty well explored. So, this is a perfect excuse to go back and use the key and also buy the key to the house. The, uh, the blacksmith's house, or the weaponsmith, whatever he is. Or both, I suppose. What is this? Spells? Yeah, it's a spell. Lenegrass shop in Majula. Excellent. I feel like I should keep talking to her just in case she also has something more for me. It's finally time that I pick up her nose. Up a bargain for you. Next time we meet that up. All right, I'll make sure to seek you out if I see you again. It's high time that I pick up a nose. Okay, so... Is this the mansion, or is this the blacksmith's house? House key? So, is that the mansion, or the blacksmith's house? I still don't know. Opens the abandoned house. Open the blacksmith. Okay, so that is the mansion. In that case, where's the blacksmith's house? Kitty cat! Oh, you're on the table now. I want to get a closer look at you. Ah, oh, damn it, it's all depth of field. There we go. That is a beautiful cat. I'm not serious. You do have a rather pleasant scent. <laughs> you keep saying that. The type I'm quite fond of. <laughs> it literally looks like I'm rotting. This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> Yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> I would say thank you, but frankly, it sounds kind of like she wants to eat me. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? He's lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> The only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? Right, but I'd really like to know what it takes before I know what it's gonna... before I actually enter it. Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Hmm? Long ago they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. 
If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Although, you'd just as well not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's challenging enough. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Nothing suited you, I presume. Okay, blacksmith's house. Blacksmith's house. I mean, it's not this guy, right? It wasn't locked. Oh, hello again. What's your name? No, that's not the name. Is Lenegrast or whatever? Well, I, I, well, I do hope I. Yeah, Lenegrast ski. So, where? Wait a minute. Did I never go up here? I never went over here either. Who the hell are you? I didn't explore this place very well, did I? Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. Hmm. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring I can help key. you with that. There you go, my friend. Ah, yes. Very good. Now I can get to work. But first, let me set up. Come again later. Still just as beautiful as ever. Be wary of hint to bad luck ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people saying, like, Make a leap of faith! Treasure awaits! Oh, you've got to be the guy that's lost everything, right? You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is... Almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well... That's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. 
And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now, like I have. <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Hmm. That actually sounds like a good covenant. I'm kind of scared some horrible things are going to happen. Sure? I could always break the covenant, I think. Okay. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Look at our new neighbors. How they fret over all and sundry. Oh, those were better days. Oh, dear me. It really takes me back. He's just completely given up. Crestfallen Saldan. Wait, enter Covenant. I'm already in, right? Yeah. Learn gesture? Welcome gesture. You see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once a great fort, but little of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. I don't know where that is. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. Oh, yes. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. That I know well. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Do you have more to say? Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth. I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you will never make it down there. Not without a ladder of some sort. Or over 10,000 souls to buy a ring from a cat. A talking cat. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. That's nice. It looks like they've integrated a lot of the tutorial, like little hints into the dialogue. Long ago, a woman called a firekeeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit, and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the firekeepers went. May you find peace on your journey. Oh my god. Is that actually a death counter? <laughs> the number's going- look at that! The number's going up every time I look at it. 
Oh dear God, how many is that? 7,000, 57,000, 6,357,112. And since I read that sentence, from 12 to 33, something like 20 more just died. Oh dear God. Don't give up. Monster ahead, but weakness man. What? <laughs> Praise the sun. L lava? What? The letters are warned beyond recognition. Okay, so he gave me a thing. Was it blue seal? No. Can I do anything with it? Nope. I guess it's just uh, membership confirmation. Okay, have you finished setting up shop? No, you have not. Let's enter the house. <laughs> 